right there, Ryan. Fish on. Three favorite spring walleye baits. A couple baits you can bring absolutely everywhere you're gonna go and just catch a pile of fish with. Oh, there he is. There he is. There we go, beautiful man. Doesn't get any better. Welcome back to another video. What is going on guys? We're out here. Um, Spring walleye, Green Bay. Got good buddies Ryan and Robin with today. And we're kind of wanted to shoot a video, just kind of going into last couple days of absolutely destroyed fish on hair jig. So I wanted to shoot a kind of a video today on my three must have spring walleye fishing presentations. Ryan's already digging through the box on one here. He's looking at some blade baits, but we're gonna go into a few different ones, maybe a jig in plastic, a blade bait, and uh, some hair jigs. Kind of give you guys the rundown, and uh, maybe we'll all tie on a different bait and kind of see what happens today, but that's kind of the plan. Spring walleye, three must have go-to options that are pretty much gonna work everywhere, and we'll kind of give you guys the rundown on those. But um, without too much more talk, and we should probably put the troll motor down, huh? and start doing that. So we'll dump them in Coda, get spot locked, find some fish. You guys know the deal. We'll probably be doing some pitching today, but uh, yeah, should be good. A little breezy, but it's above freezing at least, huh? Yeah. And as long- Another February day before above freezing to start the day, so. Yeah, the last three days is like bonus time. It's mid-February. So the fact we're even in a bow right now feels amazing. So stay tuned, let's get it going on. Pitching for some spring walleyes, three must have go to presentations. Yeah. Right there, Ryan. Fish on. On the blade bait. And I'll say this if there was a one two punch, design for spring walleye fishing it'd be some kind of jig hair jig or plastic and then some vertical bait that you can kind of pitch around short like a blade bait which is exactly what i got on here and uh we're gonna kind of dial it in today and see if they want but the one kind of key thing with all those baits is they're very versatile and can be fished vertical and slow if need be and there we go right there walleye number one of the day for me anyways those guys have already caught a couple i'm setting the cameras up here that oh that tells you how the bite is but uh we're gonna let that guy go basically like i said we got a few different presentations going here just to kind of really see what the fish want but uh like i said it's the hair jig you're maybe a jig in a plastic and the blade bait and you guys know me if i'm fishing a blade bait it's pretty much the Acme V-Rod. That's a quarter ounce, kind of a natural color. And uh, we can switch up colors as we need be, but this blade bait's phenomenal because you could fish it really short. There's some blade baits that might be too big, too bulky, or when you start, you'd have to move the rod too much to make the fish, make the bait do something. These ones, you could do very short hops to catch fish on it, which is kind of what I'm doing with the rod. So we'll see if we can tag a few more on it. Yeah, and or if you bring Shelby once or oh. whatever. Ooh, nice. He's on. Ryan's pitching a little swim bait on the quarter ounce gold Google eye. Is that correct, Ryan? Yep. And uh, we're just kind of fan casting around and drifting in the current. Is it a walleye? <laughs> Thumpter? You must have him like in the chin. Oh, right in the cheek. That's why he's fighting like that. I knew something had to be goofy. But hey, he got close enough to eat it. And there we go couple of them and Ryan's we'll show you what Ryan's fishing as far as swim bait goes there we go pretty little river walleye going back Ryan's got the 2.8 inch tickle shad on and kind of a new sexy color which I'll go ahead and link down below obviously fishing that quarter ounce Google eye kind of the deal I mean you could literally take that presentation and go to any river in the Midwest and catch a walleye in the spring probably and uh, like I said kind of the key to spring walleye fish and the best baits are always versatile baits and that is definitely one of them right there Oh, we're on, on the hair. 
hair jig is hooked up. Now we have caught fish on all three presentations. Ryan's got one too. Doubled up, huh? I like it. That's the way you want to do it. And uh, catching fish on hair, catching fish on blades and plastics. And some days they'll just eat a little bit of everything, but you'll definitely see days where one might excel over the other. And if that's not the prettiest sight you've ever seen. And this fish is uh, courtesy of a little, you can, can you grab yours, Ryan? Yep, a little tip that we do with these, these hair jigs, especially in cold water. We just shot an awesome piece on the Walleye Now app on this yesterday, or if you have a lot of these nipper fish, how to kind of attach a good stinger hook like this, because a lot of days it can be the difference between a decent day and a really good day. And there we go. There's another nice one. Let's see Ryan's. Maybe I'll show this one off real quick. Boom. Can't complain with that, huh? It's about as fat and chubby as they get right there. Feel good? <laughs> Let's see him, Ryan. What do you got? Chubby. Good quality, huh? Pretty fish. You're not going to go anywhere in February and complain about these. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Back they go. Catching them on a few different presentations. All right, guys, as promised, kind of want to talk three favorite spring walleye baits. A couple baits you can bring absolutely everywhere you're going to go and just catch a pile of fish with. And like I kind of said after a couple of fish catches, generally these baits are very versatile, fished on a spinning rod, can be pitched, can be fished vertical, can be dragged in current. A lot of different ways to fish these couple different baits. Now, the one Ryan's using is this specific one right here, and I'll go ahead and link it down below. This is the Tickle Shad, Kalen's Tickle Shad. This is a 2.8 inch. Um, they come in a 3.8 as well. And it's kind of that classic swim bait thrumper. And look, oh, Ryan had one on. I lost it there for a second. But <laughs> it's kind of that classic design. And Ryan's back on right there. Oh, he lost it again. This is unbelievable. He keeps, <laughs> I'm not even going to say anything until it's both said next time. But that's the one right there. And that color, like I said, is called Golden Shad. Now, obviously, a ton of different colors are going to work. Arkansas Shad's kind of one of my favorites, obviously. There's another new one which I believe is called copper, which is kind of similar to that. A lot of those good kind of, like a little bit touch of green, little gold in there. And uh, those colors are pretty much going to work in a lot of different water conditions you're going to be in. So that's kind of that classic swim bait design. Now the key to fishing a swim bait good in the, sw in the spring like this is getting your jig weight correct. Obviously, if you're in a lake that might not have any current or any flow or anything like that, you can go very light. A lot of times you'd be talking about eighth ounce or quarter ounce. River fishing, you might be fishing a one ounce. You might be fishing a half ounce. It might be an eighth ounce, kind of depending on the flow. So basically what you want to do is as Ryan's popping that jig up, you want it to hang there for two, three seconds, I'd say is about perfect, especially when you're dealing with water temps that are, you know, 33 and a half today. So we're putting this right on a quarter ounce Kalen's Google Eye jig here. And you guys know me, I like my gold, but a lot of times if you just match it to the color plastic you're fishing, that's pretty gonna be pretty solid for you. So fish just like that, super simple setup, pitch it back behind the boat. The key to doing it is pitch it down current, drag it back into the current. That's gonna make that thing hang up. Basically what Ryan's doing with the rod, just popping it forward and he's holding that line tight as the jig's falling. Now the current kind of grabs that big paddle tail and it just kind of sits there kicking in the current before it slowly comes back down to bottom. And that's how slow you want to fish it. When that jig kind of hangs in the current like that, that's the key to catching fish in the spring on a jig. So one absolutely to have some kind of smaller swim bait like this or a ringworm or something like that. Um, this one in particular, Kalen's Tickle Shad. Um, you guys know the Tickle Tails as well. That's another one of my favorite swim baits. And uh, that's kind of the jig and plastic program that Ryan's fishing today. A lot more. Oh, look at that. Ryan's on a roll. I like it. Heck yeah. How's he feel? Feels amazing. We just did a little move. We just kind of slid around probably 100 yards. Just kind of going up and down a hard to soft bottom. And I kind of showed you guys this in a video I did, I did yesterday, but you can see we got a lot of rock and gravel right here. And then on the right side, bear. So that's a lot of times those transitions that you look for in a lot of these river systems. To kind of point you in the right direction, not to say there's always going to be fish on it, but anytime you can find a structural edge, that is a real nice chubby one, Ryan. We might call that a thumbnail, a thumbnail fish, huh? And that little color's been on fire. I fished it last night after we got done. There we go. That little kind of green with the flake in it. 
been absolutely on fire. I'll go ahead and link it down below. There we go. There's a beautiful one. Beauty. There we go. Going back. Dragon plastics into current. Yeah, Works everywhere, doesn't it? Needs little paddle tail. Give you some. Easy, easy as it gets. The other one which you guys have seen us fishing a ton in the last couple of days, hair jig. Now this is definitely the most subtle one out of all three of these. That tail just kind of gets real compact like that. It's very subtle, very minnow profile -y. And these bucktail style jigs definitely have a place everywhere you're gonna go when you're fishing cold water. They really excel in cold water. And the way you're fishing it is really pretty simple. Just almost just like the swim bait where you're trying to hang that thing up. Now obviously there's no paddle tail on the back of here. So if fish are very negative or neutral, a lot of times this hair jig is gonna be your best option. And that's why it just really excels in a lot of these cold water situations. So you're just pulling that thing into the current, making sure it's hanging up, let it fall. Sometimes you could just do a real short pop with it, and that's just enough to kind of get it to hang up quick, just that little triggering effect. But like I said, anytime you're fishing a jig or any bait in the springtime, hang time, very important right there. So that is the Kalen's Google Eye hair jig, which you guys have seen us fish a bunch over the last couple days. And uh, have just a mount a success on now the blade bait presentation that's one of the other baits which i'm not going anywhere with or i'm not taking i'm making sure i got it with everywhere i'm going to go in the spring there's two sizes i really like to fish a lot in these one is a quarter looks something like that right there and then the slightly bigger three a's now the blade bait very versatile you can fish it vertical and one one way i'll fish it when i'm fishing really heavy current situations is i'll find my area which i want to fish and i'll drift with that current basically keeping my line vertical the whole way down that area and doing real short pops now this is the Acme V-Rod, and the one of the reasons this is such a great cold water blade bait, some blade baits you really have to work the rod very hard, hard and aggressive to make that bait go This one, you can hardly, barely have to hit the rod. Just that short pop, you'll feel that rod tip go on the way up, and then that is exactly what you want. You don't want to have to work a bait very hard to make it have action. That's one of the keys with all these baits in the cold water period that are very good in the spring. You don't have to impart this huge six foot jigging stroke, which you'll see some people doing on the river, Ryan, won't you? <laughs> in, the, in the spring to catch fish. Yeah, and that's why these blade baits are such an effective way to fish this time of year. You can also, what I'm doing today, we're fishing about 12, 13 feet of water. You could short pitch it around. So basically what you're doing is you're pitching sideways. You never want to be pitching up current and then bring it back to you because it's going to subdue a lot of that action that that blade bait has. So casting it perpendicular to the current or down current and slowly working it back on a real short hop is definitely what you want to be doing. Fish that on a snap and you can pretty much take the same spinning rod fish all three of these presentations and, and have success this time of year. One day, one might excel over the other. Today we're catching a few fish on each. Seems like Ryan's slowly pulling ahead on the plastics, but uh, these are the three baits which is going with me everywhere I'm gonna go, really for the next several months in the springtime. Saw that hook set. It's a plastic kind of day, all right. I saw the, I saw that hook set, that double clutch hook set coming. I should just give you the mic. You're the one catching them all. It's not quite warm enough for my dual mic setup yet. There we go. There we go. Another fish on the googly eye jig and the... The old tickle shad? Tickle shad. There you go. He lost a few tickles along the way, but he'll out. still catch them. <laughs> there we go. Man, Beautiful, man. Fish. Doesn't get any better. Whoa. There he goes. Bumble. Give me some. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for today's video. Wanted to come out here this morning, catch a few fish on a few different presentations, and just kind of give you a walk through on three of my must-have spring walleye fishing lures that are going to work for you absolutely everywhere you're going to go. It was a fun morning in the boat. We all caught some nice fish, and uh, hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed it. It's super windy out. We're probably going to catch a few more fish with the cameras off just for fun, and uh, just enjoy the day because it doesn't get much better than 35 degrees, even if it's windy out. Catching some of these fish. Wind, but it's been a really great time. <laughs> has been. It has been. I appreciate you guys watching these spring walleye fishing videos. If you guys haven't, make sure you guys check out, which is I always link down below, the Contour Fishing Clothing Co. stuff. We've got some awesome hats. we got a big spring order coming in, and uh, it's not quite spring yet, so we still got plenty of the winter stuff on the site, but link that down below if you guys want to support this channel. Shelby's probably shipping stuff as we speak, and uh, yeah, it's been unbelievable hearing the support from you guys on a lot of this 
you know a lot of these projects we do so uh we're gonna, like i said we're probably gonna boat around find a few more fish catch a few more but i appreciate you guys watching this video stay tuned for more content we'll see you next time